Every one of you watching this screen, look out. Anything can happen in the next half hour. What did I tell you about cartoons? They've got a lot of brains, and they've got a lot of cut parts. Tell me how comic books make you feel, Dave. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Hello, this is Franz Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator, toon talker, and I'm here with Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum, and we're doing the art of uh, finding Dory. Finding Dory. Yes, there so she most is. most of us find Dory in there the... There she is, there she is. She's there, look. Yeah. You don't have to look hard. So this is put out by uh, Chronicle Books again. Yeah. And most of us find Dory... Um, I didn't you know, know she was lost. ...with chips and um, potato scallops or potato... You can, yes. yes. So that's where you usually find Dory. Well, John Dory. Oh, it has to be John. It, well, that's what they call him. Her in, brother in, John. In Australia, they call him John Dory. Right. That's a great end paper, isn't it? It is. It's almost um, Hitchcockian. Yeah. Sca oh, the, that's no. a big word. Hitchcock, yeah. Okay. So what's Kubrick? Kubrick is Kubrickistan. Kubrickistani. No, that's a place in Russia. Okay. The Art of uh, Finding uh, Dory. Yeah. This is, she wouldn't uh, be blue, would she? She's going to be hard to find in this book, I know that. Some lovely things. I actually haven't seen this film. So um, you haven't seen it, haven't and you're going to talk it. about it? Yeah, oh, that's fine. I'm, I'm interested in the book. I'm not interested yeah, we're doing in a book review here, folks, not a film in review. The story. You see, story. they had a lot of blue paint left over after they made Finding Nemo, and they decided, what will we do with all this paint, shall we? I hope. Let's do make a film about Dory. She's blue, isn't she? And they did. So this, this story centres in on uh, Dory, obviously, looking for her parents. Yes. And her her roots, right? So she's sort of like a reef fish, but most reef fish are solitary um, animals and they just find a partner and then that's it. And they don't and, really and travel we, around. We should discuss her personality at school. this stage. Her personality is that someone did an experiment uh, a few years ago and says that fish have no memory. Like, th they forget everything within three seconds. And that's what Dory's character is based upon that that piece of information, but it's not true. These are They've done boards. a lot of, well, a lot of mood, mood photos too. Yeah, mood boards. Um, yeah. Sort of information. You can see the, the technology has moved on since the first film, haven't you? Yeah. It's an interesting range of colour. Yeah. Sea otters and things. So a little bit of uh, camera notes and things like that. So we'll go back to the colour palette and uh, what else is there? This she is. Yeah, this is her without any colour palette. We're going to find a lot of Dory's so, in this one. This is, you can see this is charted throughout the film. Ah, this is different axes. Is that, that's a mood chart, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost like a psychological. So they've got a chart. It's a, it's an emotional timeline. This ah. is what this is called. Wow. So you go from... Hang on. From emotional timeline. Yeah, you go... Yeah. So you go from normal to dark, you know, and it represents yes. the hero's journey, right? The challenges yes. and the, the fall, the dips and falls yes. and the, the, the rises and falls of the hero's journey itself. Yeah. So that's a very interesting structure, isn't it? Mm, um, it is. I don't, I, I, I kind do of do see that with merit, all, do you but think I don't they, think... Do you think it's people just showing off their psych, uh, their, their, psych uh, their, 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 their psych, their, um, uh, their degrees they've done on psychology? No, get into no more than they do in advertising, but I oh. think you know in both areas. It, it kind of there's a departure where you have to go from the scientific method into the um, the, the pure um, caprice. Yeah, of, but of what's left on the screen that matters. Yeah, this again, Surely. you know, look, this area of um, shapes still pilches, uh, Steve pilches um, shapes, abstract uh, yeah. uh, uh, shapes. And they're very evocative of environment. Very, very Hitchcockian. Yeah, well, you know, um, look, look at that. Light, 
coming through the Shadow water, like, yeah. like you know, like uh, almost. A, but it's a interesting film noir for a film effect. that's completely dominated with wonderful colour. Both books have black and white. Um, yeah, well, there's something. Oh, okay. Well, the reason to is to set up the drama quickly. To set up the drama, get an idea of how light should play a part in this film. Yeah. Um, light, of course, is, is adversely affected by colour. Yeah. So you need to sort of work out your um, tones in the film. Yeah. I find this really interesting. This uh, abstract um, uh, uh, exercise. So these are angular. Yeah, no, there's. There she is. There she is. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. There she is. There she is. Yeah. I'm finding Dory. So there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to. Uh, now, there's a lovely painting. Yeah, it's a beautiful look at painting. Size. Yeah. So. They you know the big, the big and the small. The and yeah. look at the, you know the under yeah. the glow of the uh, seaweed. Yeah. So you. You're basically in, you know, still in the reef area, but getting there. There's so the, many greens in the outer world. area. Outer so many world. greens. This is a. This looks like a younger. This is a younger dory. Yeah. Some of the expressions that uh, they're able to put in there. Um, this is Jason Dima, Nancy Tsang. Uh, who else is uh, Jason Dima? Uh, again, this a lot of. Uh, you know, she's basically all face, so there's a lot you can do with uh, with her um, construction, her character design. See how the characters of the fish mm. are articulated and uh, worked out against one another. So you've got the different types of fish, they all have different distinctive you, shapes. The, the dory yeah, is more like a be, Because normal. you don't want to be confused all the time. You, you must know, tell one from the that's other. That's right, yeah. straight away. So even, these, even in profile, these simple whatever. shapes here yeah. are reflected in the yeah. actual fish designs themselves. Yeah. You can see Dory's profile, yeah. um, uh, Charlie's profile, mm. and this would be Jenny. So you can tell each one apart from another. Yeah. Very, very important. Some other, this is a nice uh, illustration. Oh, this is interesting. This is a. Crowd view of uh, the characters, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. And all they are are eyes. Look at these. Yeah, snails. We've seen that um, idea before. It's a very uh, common way of uh, describing snails. Big slugs and things like that. Nice, dramatic, quick storyboards. Storyboards have to be for animation quite quick. Um, because they've got to be, you've got to be able to change them yeah. on a whim. You know, yeah. they present these boards, they go through them over and over and over again yeah. to find uh, better ways of telling the story. And that's the quickest way. So they're way. all refined. Sticky and sticky notes the quickest way to actually yeah. work. So these are mounted up on. It's the amazing. Wall. Uh, I mean, they. I went to a, an animation festival uh, and um, a couple of years ago in Melbourne. And there's a festival that actually animates. They hand out the yellow pads, and yeah. you're supposed to animate a thing on the on the on the posting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's you do that with design sprints as well. Yeah. It's a very um, immediate way of getting a response and getting um, you well, know. Well, um, these are almost like comic book feedback, um, feedback um, from the audience. These are almost like comic book um, panel storyboards, aren't they? I mean, they're panels. They're yeah. not. They're, 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 they're not frames. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they share it's the same shared. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, Genesis, you know, the sequential art. Thank you, um, um, Will Eisner. Cementing in our minds. You're not name dropping. Cinematic. People. You're not name dropping. Of famous comics. cartoonists you've met again, are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Lovely boards, lovely boards. Okay, um, so uh, you know, explain again. These are uh, the characters of the rays are very interesting here. Um, you know, there was only one ray in um, in Finding Nemo. He was the sort of the school bus, and uh, he was zany enough, uh, voiced by one. They're of light the light rays. Uh, They're light rays. <laughs> yeah, voiced by one of the uh, the crew. Is that uh, um, no, Steve Pilcher? But uh, it's very 
beautiful cross hatching mm. to, mm. to create form. Um, some I love this sort of the you know the more uh, simple graphic mm. elements mm. Of, of creating shapes. The sponges, aren't shapes they? The they sponges. Yeah, different things. See, see this colouring is, is straight out of. 50s, f- 50s Disney movies. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah they've they're been girl. nostalgic there. Yeah. C- yeah. Candying up their yeah. um, sleeping beauty. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, what's, what's the. the it's a dark tea film. party. Um, Alice's Tea Alice, Party. Alice in Wonderland. Look how beautiful that is. A very um, Marianne. B- b- a, 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 a You'd love a painting on your wall. That well, that's just that's that's beautiful green murk yeah, and yeah. your little eyes looking at you. I'd say this nice. film's a lot darker than the first one. Yeah. yeah. I'd say. Yeah, so it's dealing with a whole bunch of stuff mm. all at once here, a lot of psychological uh, abandonment issues and, mm. uh, you know, um, the search for meaning. The s- oh, and look. Yeah. What you don't believe in. The, the Fibonacci spiral. That's right. What you don't believe in. Yeah. What you don't believe in. What? Broccoli. I, <laughs> I believe in broccoli. That's horrible. Horrible stuff. What broccoli? Yeah, stay away from it. Bad for you. It's really, it's really great for men with it's prostate lovely problems. Lovely tony, tone, toned, beautiful toned um, uh, mood boards here, black and white tone. Just to show that could be a shot out of how it. a John dramatic. Ford Western. It could be how t- how dramatic the uh, use of uh, you know um, shading can be. Mm. You know, from the foreground to the background. Yeah. And um, very well done. Very well done. Yeah. Not sure what that means back there, but it's well, far away. There they are. They're going in, into the abyss. Look, yeah. the Trinity's going out into the abyss. Mm. Oh, this is um, an underground Grand Canyon. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Underwater, underwater Grand Canyon. Yeah. Uh, what's he done here? These uh, sort of basket weaving effects to give uh, yeah. a sense of uh, volume and structure to work out what the air, what the movements would be or what the yeah. structures would be. Um, what, what do they call that in, in computer drawing? Uh, polygons. Yeah, polygons. Yeah. Well, it's sort of a topographic way of explaining yeah. what the background is. Now you're getting into areas that I, I'm very, very interested in, this sort of abstractness that comes from the 50s and things. I really love that stuff. It's beautiful. Uh, beautiful pencil work here. Mm. Yeah. And there's a, there's a... Sushi land. Clay sculpture. This yeah. would be a lot of fun to do as well. Yeah, this sort of organic, um, mm. you know... Abstractness. Sliced fruit land. This is a lovely uh, painting. Rona Lou did this digital paintings. Of this the is this is story. Yeah, you know how like the sun. Glory, yeah. It's like this is only a few feet from the from the surface mm. of the water. It gives you a beautiful feel. Have you ever actually depth. gone underneath the water? And I have. And uh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. The, I mean, the color is just so. <sighs> See the organic you abstractness of you the You can't the take designs. it in. You can't take it in because there's so much beautiful light. It is. Under the water, yeah. there's so much light. You can't take it in properly. Yeah. Like the jellyfish uh, you yeah. had before, this is another yeah. um, conflagration Be- yeah, beautiful, of uh, beautiful, beautiful rays. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful uh, effect of mottling the light. Shelley Wan digital painting there. So there's quite a lot of... Um, this is cave effect of uh, yeah. going into the distance, you know, uh, starting with the premise of the foreground being darker than the background, gradually building up the, um, the they distance. Go off into the... Yeah, this is particularly nice. Off into the ink deep this blue wonder. ink and digital. Mm. So it's both um, the very, very evocative, very evocative. You can see how they've used the black and white. Construction of this uh, this world to create a sense of drama. It's a, it's a lovely uh, spotlit effect uh, but, over there. That's a Christmas scene. Yeah, un- underwater. Yeah. Very nice. Huh. It's beautiful. 
That's one of those uh, fish, you know, the baby, the baby uh, that's an Asian fish. dory fish. That's an Asian fish. No, that's a dory fish. That's her smiling. It's a smiling really? Eyes. I yeah. thought, you know how kittens don't open their eyes straight away? I thought yeah. the fish are the same way. When no, they, they live in these coral formations. They do. So there's like tubes, tube, tube dwellers. This is her, again, the younger dory with, uh, with the big, With the big boys. Yeah. With the brandos. Mm. Some color, um, color mood boards to explain the scene. Um, what's this? Is some kind of a uh, pipeline, perhaps? Uh, oh, this is just working out the different emotional story, the mm. emotional impact of the, uh, of the scenes. What are the key elements, the key accents to play with? You know, very important because story doesn't have a lot of story. It's all emotion, so you've got to really hit those accents and make people feel for the character mm. because mm. she's quite she's, well, she's quite lovable. bland. I mean, she's lovable. Well, I didn't love her, but that could be just me. But these are lovely little abstract. Yeah, I uh, think it's just you. I think ooh. the whole world fell in love with her. Undersea volcanoes. Yes. Except where are all this the bubbles? This is a real one. Where are the bubbles? It's the real one. Oh, that's a... Um, so you know sort of whale that is? These illustrations... You know sort of whale that is? It's a humpback. Yeah. These illustrations are to show the 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 the, the um, vulnerability of the young Dory uh, and how lonely she was. So it's a build up of that. So it's more but, you know, more more lonely than lonely. So we go from act act one was a big act. We're going into act two now. Now we've got some very strange characters. One of the strangest is this guy who I absolutely adore. This uh, uh, octopus. And uh, here we go into the heavy hitters. He, Where's this, he can, uh, look, he can Jason get pissed Demer. very quickly. Look, yeah, a bottle in each hand. That's so, wonderful. That's in that. Look, in that. Look so Jason Dima did. He was the character art director for. I tell you uh, what, if you stu- if you study really octo- o- octopuses, beautiful octopi. Sorry, octopi. They're incredible animals. They're absolutely, mm-hmm. they're finding out so much about them. These are clay yeah. illustrations. So yeah. they're, they're made to sort of give you an, a, a, an effect in the round. So you turn them around yeah. to see, you know, possibilities for... Um, under the sea. Under the sea. Yeah. Lovely work. And these things are huge. And these are... Look, they're, uh, they're cute. What are they called? Sun sharks or something. Well, it's a whale shark. Whale shark. It's, a, it's an incredible yeah, whale thing. Sharks. But they don't smile. This They've just got this huge mouth. And look, they're trying everything out here. That's just interesting. They're really... Again, I find this more more interesting than how it ended up yeah. in reality. It, this is just funnier. It's yeah. cleverer. Yeah. And well, simpler. it's playful. Yeah. Well, that's and what... you're trying out all the way... Sorry, but animation should be playful. Really? This look at the, has look, a look dugong. At that. That's that, really that, funny. Yeah, I know, but that is... Look at the belly button. No, but that's almost a, um, an anti-abortion um, poster, isn't it? That, that's almost a fetus. This is great. Look at that. That's great. Yeah. A little bit more realistic. So it goes yeah. into a more realistic uh, attitude. But we, do, dugons are... Yeah, I love these. Dugons are avuncular. Yeah. I, I, what, well, okay. they're, they're like uncles, you know, with red noses. Right. That you like as a kid? I've never had the one. ones you aren't frightened of, you know those ones. Never had one. Okay, so these are seals. Seals have a lot of uh, possibility. And first of all, you've got these beautiful things here, which are done by Trevor Jimenez, who is a uh, no, he's uh, top and middle rows. Yeah, Trevor Jimenez, who you can tell is a consumer cartoonist. Yes. So there's a lot more expression. He's a in gag these. man. I can tell he's a gag yeah. man. Yeah. There's a lot he, more possibilities for expression in these than yeah. they ended up. He did this too, did he? Yeah. So they oh, ended up looking like yeah. blah, like seals. Oh, that's right. Cookie more cutters. seals yeah. than seals. Now, these birds have uh, possibilities. They're nuts. Yeah. Absolutely Again, nuts. like the seagulls in the first film. You know, they have this sort of dis- dysfunctional no, those, you know those, personality. You know those ducks? Mm. You know, there's about three or four crazy ducks. Yeah. It's and, and look at all this, they're, they're caught up in the, um, stuff. Stuff, yeah. Um, they get into the pollution mystery. and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like the first film there, exploring um, different uh, uh, per- different life forms that sort of get a meaning 
you know, asking, you know, where is where is Dory? Yeah. And finding out um, the answers that way. Some of the human characters by uh, Deanna Margulis. I'm glad they did this, aren't you? Lovely. I'm glad they did this because, you know, silhouettes are so important in a film. The overall shape, because you've got to to differentiate. Well, yes, but unfortunately the silhouettes from here are all different. What they ended up with is the same. Yeah. I can't tell. Most of these characters are so similar. Cookie cutter. Yeah, well, that's a cookie cutter, isn't it? Well, yeah. So, again, you know. I never heard of that phrase, but I think what you call them is wonderful. Yeah, you know. So the simpler the illustrations, the simpler the cartoons, the more versatility that yeah. they have. But I they end up they end up as diversity. Cookie. Yeah, they end up being. Um, it's a, it's a soft shortcut. Yeah, it's amazing. They put in all this wonderful artists who put in all this wonderful product. They don't. And use they it. come out as sausages. Well, they, yeah, but it's a factory. Oh, Disney this is, is funny. A factory. This is funny. Same as DreamWorks. This is. Factories. Look at that. That's funny. Mm. Very funny gags here. Look at this one. Yeah. Very funny gags. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a, there's a world Jack Black there's, in the there's, ink. There's, the, there's a world of possibilities. Yes, Jack. Could, sticky, yeah. you know, like a, a adhesive tape container. So yeah. so many, you know, um, these these characters are really funny. They're really funny. That, there's there, there's a classic gag of how a, a snail has fallen in love with with a, uh, a tape dispenser. Mm. But you can see how these uh, little um, mandible type things, because they're related to, yeah. you know, to crust- crustaceans. And things crustaceans like yeah. These little things form moustaches and yeah. the possibility of, uh, you know, of having a, um, uh, uh, me- me- a moustachoid me- uh, Mexican character. crustaceans. Well, kind of mm. like, um, you know, Yosemite Sam. Sunny, sunny the sunfish. Sunny the sunfish. Wow, that's really... Um, so evocative and so oh, yeah. um, they should call imaginative, him, isn't they should, it? To call, call the sunfish him, sunny. Call him Bruce. Call him Bruce yeah. the sunfish. Look at this character. Look at that. Wonderful. What they call the oyster, oivy. No, that's a bit Jewish, isn't it? Oivy? <laughs> oivy. Oivy the oyster. Or Dolly the dolphin. Yeah. These are nice. Mm. That's such a silly... Stupid, stupid idea. You know, don't have them in there. Don't name them. Actually, sunfish are really strange because they always draw them. And you go, the characters from the first film coming in. Yeah, see this? Mm. That's the. That's what I thought the complete shape of a sunfish was because you never see the front. Well, you never see that Mm. in any of the uh, repos. Mm. Uh oh. Some of the sculptures here in clay of the uh, of the characters working them out. They're autos, aren't they? They're autos. The human characters yeah. are, are pretty much cookie cut. Yeah. That looks exactly the same as the guy from Paper Man. I'm not. Uh, yes. Yes. So you, you can't tell me this is not cookie cut. Of course it's cookie cut. Don't lie. You liar. These are nice uh, storyboards here with look, a lot of possibilities which they've never exploited in the uh, final animation. It's not an exploited sort of film, you know. Well, I would... I Look, I see opportunities here. Yeah, well, opportunities that, Okay, here. opportunities These are exaggerated expressions and things. Somebody like... A, a director like Gendy Tartakovsky... Oh, yeah, he goes would nuts. He goes nuts. absolutely take on that he, challenge. He, he, takes, he goes nuts. Yeah. That's right. And, uh, you know, they obviously didn't do that with this... Show. No, well, I mean, these Beautiful look, boards. These look Beautiful like boards, boards made for a television show, don't they? Yeah. Why not? Mm. Beautiful boards. Lovely boards. You know, a lot of possibilities. Uh, a couple Up of... Here, the, first, the characters from the first film now, yeah. they're in this um, water bottle. About 20 um, films before this, I ask you, um, why don't they make a film, a 2D film, without the, the finished off 3D effects? Mm. And it'd be cheaper... And it'd be like I think they're they're heading that way in the end. Surely they'd have to the, because you'll end up with a, I think you'll end up with a better product as opposed to a professional looking product. Because that's it's what they're an all, interesting. It's look. It's an interesting thing. They're actually tooled up to spend seventy million dollars. I know. Yeah. On a department on a big building, to yeah. fill it full of three D yeah. animators. They're not really and get, um, and get three thousand people 2D all over the world to work in their pajamas at home. Yeah, they're not really um, they're not really 
in the mood for that, I think. <laughs> it's the machine again, the factory. Yeah, you know, the, the, the whole factory. idea of the well, the animation. Mouse factory and animation the, is a factory, isn't it? No, it doesn't have to be. No, I know, but it is. Only Disney saw it as a factory. Animation is a is a fact. It's factory work. All that drawing you have to do. Yeah, no, I don't believe it is. Isn't well, it doesn't have to be. I think you're working out the world of uh, where the uh, action. Oh, that's lovely. It's reminiscent of Tracy Island. Which what? Dick Tracy Island. No, Dick Tracy didn't have an island. No, I know. I was really a... What's, what's Tracy Island? Well, Virgil Tracy, Alan Tracy, Scott Tracy, Lady oh, Penelope. Okay, Tracy, I'll get right on it. <laughs> no, that's Dick Tracy again. Tracy Island. You don't know what Tracy Island is? I didn't is? know it was called Tracy Island. F-A-B, Virgil. Yeah, I didn't know it was called Tracy Island. But... You lived on an island. I know. You lived in an island. I don't know what these are. These are just things, advertising, you know, little bits and pieces that doesn't really say very much. I, you know, eh, I'm, you know, if you look at the advertising in any film of SpongeBob, you'll go berserk. Yeah, the I stuff know. Is like, I know. The, the corporate. Yeah, it's that bland. It's Could corporate. Be, these are beautiful. Rhonda Lou and uh, Tim. Uh, these are digital paintings. Are beautiful of mm. uh, you know the. Um, Where's Dory? The Where's Marine the Land. She knows Probably. This is behind the scenes, of behind course. The scenes, uh, yeah. Underneath the ponds, underneath the pools and things. You know, that's where these. That's where the octopus hang out yeah. at night. So the octopus, of course, can get out of the water, but Dory can't. She's yeah. uh, she's locked in the zip bag, zip lock bag. Marine Life well, that's Institute. A, that's a very interesting uh, picture. You're off camera. Did you know an octopus has three hearts? No. no. <laughs> Everybody said no. That's stupid. Have, 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 have you seen their, Look, their sorry, breeding Sorry, I tube. don't like have this you seen stuff. Their it's too tube. realistic. It's yeah, ridiculous. It's, it's corporate. It's ridiculously realistic. Yeah. Come on, you guys. You can. This is five minutes in Photoshop. Five minutes for me in Photoshop. Where's the imagination in there? Or the, or the attempt at an illustration. Non-portable no. water. God, that must be dangerous. Non-portable, yeah. Oh, I that thought is it was portable. Potty. Potties. Potable? What does that mean? I don't know. What is this? This is like a textural... This is a nice um, textural... Uh, yeah, not the paper, but the, mm. yeah. all of this encrusted salts. That's a nice uh, Jason Merker. Beautiful. Ah, oh, magnificent uh, illustration. It's magic. This that stuff. was pinched from uh, even, Fantasia 2000. Yeah, but it's magic. Beautiful stuff. When the you know, even this. Yeah, yeah, it's well, lovely. Well, this is... Um, beautiful yeah. illustrations. So beautiful. The underwater um, the shop. shop. Yeah. All this. A little bit of... Uh, we have beautiful a little bit of Toy movies. Story number yeah, four Tim there. Yeah. A little bit of well, they do that, don't they? They kind of sneak those toys yeah. in occasionally to uh, tell you what's happening in the next film. Cookie. Yeah, cookie cookies. cutting. No, cookie, they, they're hot cookies. They, oh, okay. Cookies. Alright, hiding cookies. This is nice. I love when they have nothing to work with. Oh, look, except. Um, when they have nothing to work with, you, they... You chop it in half. To see yeah. What it's like your finger suddenly growing a face. You know, if you... I don't know if you're like me, but I do used to do that a lot. Paint little faces well, on your fingers. You, and you do that a lot, do you? Yeah, and you you, you make a little oh, yeah. character. Well, you finger also, puppet. Also, you know, you do that sort of stuff. You yeah, know. they're ugly though. These these are these are elegant. You can draw little eyes and a mouth, yeah. and you know, have the character act and stuff. Your mother didn't so buy you many you toys. The you had to make your own. No, I had a lot of toys. So, um, but you know, growing up in the 60s and 70s, you don't have the toys that you have today. Uh, we're all spoiled now, we're kind of going through our second and third childhoods yes. and buying ourselves um, goodies. When you go into these collective shops, they're these all are lovely, um, full of blokes buying toys. You know, it's a shame they didn't um, get to, to do more um, pastel paintings because yeah. I think it would have just been magic to see them. Uh, this uh, stuff, um, you know, 
rendered in that way. I, I think one of the great These are nice, but I think one of the great know, things that I've noticed in films, whether it's uh, robs it of whether it's whether it's early um, back, back she or or anything. Um, when you get a sense of the handmade mm. in an animated feature it's special. film, it's special. That's exactly right. And when it's well, two, all of that, now we're in Act Three, and that's oh. the end. Uh oh. Yeah. I don't know. Why would that be in? In there? the beginning okay. was the word, and the word was draw. So this is script points on a board, so they work out their storyboards, and this is the storyboards and result. This is the storyboards for Act Three. So see how they've panned out and how they've uh, worked out and resolved their issues. All the characters, um, both Mo, Larry and Curly. And um, uh, yeah, be fair though, it's very difficult to get <laughs> in rough storyboards you know, the finesse of those three different... Look uh, at this. The three characters are so... These characters almost like... The octopi. You know the old, blo uh, the, the old bloke, not the old bloke, um, uh, the, the cook... No, not the cook. There's, an, there's a grumpy guy in the, the Muppets. Yeah. The chef. It, oh, the eagle. The eagle, that's it. Yeah, the, the right-wing eagle. The manager, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice... Beautiful stuff. Lovely, expressive boards. Boards, animation boards are generally this loose and expressive because, you know, they have to be redrawn and changed sometimes and... And propped up and you sometimes, know, you get, yeah, all the time, all the time, because it's an it's an organic thing story. Yes, in in Pixar films, and it, there's it's more not than one, to the script. There's more than one writer. The script comes in later. There's Isn't me. that beautiful. There's Dory. Look at the uh, Dory. abstractness yeah. of these things. She's almost a word boy. Yeah. And this is uh, that's a really ugly. Uh, prop. But well, it's a matter. computer drawing, isn't it? These are lovely, aren't they? They're very. Yeah. Um, I love the way that, you know, in sketch, they're beautiful. They're, they remind me so much of uh, the lovely fish in um, Sword in the Stone. You never got over that film, did you? No, I love that film. I thought that film was just one of the best. Lovely shell shapes and uh, bitch says shell shocked. Um, Again, you know, working out your grayscales yep. sort of uh, yeah, emphasizes where's the area of focus. You yep, sort of yep, drag yep. your eyes to the most important uh, aspect. And that's I think good it's storytelling. I, think it's, I know. I think it's interesting that they, they use black so and white eloquently. They really start great. off with the black and white stuff. It's because it's yeah. It, it's it's got drama and gravitas. It's got everything. Yeah. So you take away uh, a lot of the information that distracts you, yeah. which is color. And you focus on the depth yeah. of the uh, story. Again, more stickers. Why would they do this? Decals. This is a lovely... Um, who did this? Daniel Lopez Munoz is a digital painting in a very pastel style. Um, lovely. Lovely work. You know, you're showing the end of the day or something, the sunset or sunrise or something. And you've got the... Uh, the road illuminated still by this warm, lovely warm glow. That's a beautiful uh, scene. That beautiful mood board. Yeah, some more color boards for Act Three. Um, you know, just trying to explain the emotional uh, ups and downs of the color of the script. They call these color scripts now. Do they? Yeah, colour scripts. Uh, only so writers, actually, this is only the film. writers would call it. Ah, this script. is the whole film as a colour script. Okay. So every scene is an important aspect is sketched out uh, and painted, and then they are all sort of marched together, presented together in a slideshow, and uh, you're supposed to be able to tell the story. The hand of God. You know the whalers yeah. when they were when nice. they were whaling. Away the it's old bloke stuff in the old days. Yeah. When the tail came down and, and smashed them, they call that the hand of God. Oh, these are the stuff. These are caricatures of of uh, the illustrators, okay. illustrated by each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, Roseanne. <laughs> yeah. So there's a beautiful little, um, yeah, like shorthand notes. But yeah. You can see there's some. You know, they've taken a few lovely um, liberties here. From and top there. to bottom, that's Alice Clendenin. Yeah, some lovely things. And that's uh, Steve uh, Pilcher. 
Look at him. Yeah, good stuff. Lovely stuff. All right, so here we go. Um, this is it. We get some. Very funny. That's very funny. That's the. That's a funny game. Because octopuses are masters of disguise. Um, well, so he's trying to be a pot plant. That's an octopus's garden, in the shade. Okay. All right. Okay, let's, let's some more Dory um, uh, graphics. Yes. So all in all, I think um, very. It's an interesting it's uh, a, departure in many ways from the original film. I think there's a like a embossed effect. Yeah. So it's a departure from the original film um, in many many ways. A bit darker, huh? Um, a little bit darker, I think. Yeah. But the, you know, Nemo had a lot of dark elements as well. So I think uh, all in all, it's, it's an interesting. It's an interesting book. Um, Although I've missed, I don't I'm, know if it's, I would regard it as more important than than the first book. I would still like to have seen more pastel uh, paintings. Like there, the well, I have book. some pastel. Been really yeah. exciting. Lovely stuff. Okay, all right. This is uh, Franz Cantor mm -hmm. and and this is uh, uh, Jim Bridges, and I'm glad we we found Dory. Yeah. Go and she, have I don't think she was lost. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for the sour persimmons, cousin.